with me to the rolling sea while the weather's calm and still. And we'll have some fun and laughter with the adventures of Portland Bill. After tea in the lighthouse on the Guillemot Rock, we all like to sit around, relax and tell stories. One particular stormy night, I told Ross and Cromedy a story about a sea monster. And they do say that the sea serpent slipped back into his cave and has only been seen on stormy nights just like tonight. If it Ross. Makes you think, you know. Ah, spat Cromedy. Don't believe in beasties myself. Whisper in whirlpools, I said. I'm off to bed. It's your turn for the night watch, Cromedy. Good night. Aye, aye, sir, replied Cromedy. And he continued his knitting. Oh, I hate the night watch, shivered Ross. When I'm on my own and the wind blows, I imagine all sorts of weird things are outside. Ah, sea monsters, beasties, absolute rubbish, said Cromedy as he bundled up his knitting. But, but, but what about the old fisherman's tales? said Ross. It's all fooey. Ross, you'd believe anything. Whereas I always think in a clear and logical way. <laughs> Is that why you wear odd socks? laughed Ross. Don't be cheeky. And stop talking about sea monsters and the like, said Cromedy. Between you and me, I think he was getting a little nervous. Ooh, ah, ow! Oh, don't creep up on me like that. Yeah, what's that noise? Yeah, it's the monster! Ah, be, be sensible, Ross. They don't exist. I'm sure they don't. They can't. I know, said Cromedy, putting on a brave face. Let's have a nice cup of tea. What was that? The, 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 there's something up in the service room, stuttered Cromarty. Uh, I suppose we'd better go and have a look, said Ross. When they got to the service room, they were relieved to find that it was only the wind blowing some papers about through an open window. Oh, it's creepy, whispered Cromedy. Let's go back downstairs. Oh, wait for me. I'm not staying here on my own. Come on, Cromedy. Don't just stand there. But he was too scared to move. But, 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 Luke, stuttered Cromedy. It's the sea monster! Shouted Ross. It must have come in through the window. Wow, help! That's when they rushed upstairs to wake me. Bill, 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 wake up! The sea monster's downstairs. It's as big as a boat, and it's looking for its supper. Aye, aye, he's right. As big as a boat, agreed Cromedy. Wow. Everyone knows there's no such thing as a sea monster. But I knew the lads wouldn't let me get my beauty sleep if I didn't go downstairs and have a look. There's your sea monster, I said. It's Cromarty's knitting on top of Russ's toolbox. <laughs> oh, uh, I yes, of course. Uh, I knew it all along, bluffed Cromarty. It was uh, Ross who was scared. Fancy all that fuss over a lump of knitting, scoffed Ross. Yeah, you couldn't frighten me with a ball of knitting. Yuck! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come with me to the rolling sea while the weather's calm and still. And we'll have some fun and laughter with the adventures of Portland Bill. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>